All right, what we have here is an Olympus BX40. It's been one of Olympus's most famous microscopes ever. And this one is equipped with some really nice things. I want to point them out to you. If we start at the top, work our way down, I'll show you the eyepieces first of all. It's got some very nice uh, Olympus uh, helical eyepieces. Helical just means that it's focusable. And so they're uh, WHS10X-H, which stands for helical, slash 22, which is the field number, which is a nice wide field. And then it's also corrected for high, uh, high point for eyeglass wearers. And as you can see, they, they both turn very smoothly, which is a sign of quality. And of course, Olympus is one of the best microscopes out there. So this is going to be a quality microscope all the way around. It also comes with uh, a left diopter focusable on this side. So you have a left diopter focusable and two focusing eyepieces, which means that you're always going to be able to stay in par focality no matter who uses the microscope. This has a uh, 0 to 60 inclinable head. We call them ergo binos, but uh, most people call them uh, inclinable heads. And the beauty of this is that uh, it affords the user comfort so you can sit and do your microscopy in, in total comfort and have the uh, microscope come to you rather than you forcing yourself to come to the microscope. So this is a great feature. This, by the way, this feature right here costs about 2500 bucks alone if you buy it new from Olympus. Uh, working our way down, the head can be loosened and swiveled all the way around. And so if you want to do some teaching and turn the head around, you can do that. Working our way down to the uh, five place nose piece, we have a set of Olympus Plan Acromat lenses. And so it starts off with a 2X, which is the longer, uh, the long, well, I think one of the longest lenses on the nose piece. It's a 2X, very, very wide field. This would be an ideal microscope for a pathologist uh, or a cytologist. And then you have a 4X, 10X, 40X and a 100X. And so whenever you're using uh, the 2X lens, working our way down, we're going to show you exactly what you need to do with this condenser. This condenser needs to be flipped out. It's got a flip top condenser. And so the reason you flip it out is because you have such a large field with this 2X lens, you want to be able to fill the whole field so that you can see an entire field all at once. This is a revolving stage. You can loosen this stage and rotate it. It doesn't ro rotate 360, but it rotates 270. So you can um, rotate this thing around all the way around this way. And what's great about that is you can orient your specimen to your camera plane if you wanted to equip this with a trinocular and a camera. Uh, we have centering uh, condenser, so this, this microscope is color illuminating. You can illuminate it for color illumination. And of course you can flip the lens back in so whenever you go back to doing microscopy with all your other lenses from 4X, or I'm sorry, 10X on up to 100X, you wanna raise the condenser and flip that lens in. Working our way down to the field stop, this field diaphragm makes this microscope very uh, valuable in terms of centering it the way it should be centered as a professional would like to center it. Going over to the uh, coaxial coarse focusing mechanism, you have coaxial uh, coarse focusing on both sides and on the inside you have a tension adjustment so that when after you've used this thing for several years uh, the stage becomes a little bit loose and it might even drift downwards a little bit. You can use this uh, inside tension knob to uh, force a little bit of tension on that gear and it'll make it a little bit stiffer so it won't drop or drift on you. And of course we have the fine focus mechanism out here. This stage is very unique also. I wanted to point this out because I don't know if, if many of you have used stages before where they get very loose or very, very tense, very stiff. This one can be adjusted. Uh, it's self-tensioning. So you just loosen this little ring right here and now all of a sudden you've got a wide direction movement that's extremely, extremely loose. A lot of cytologists like that. Um, and so you can you know, really speed through your, your specimens that way. And so on the uh, 
on the X direction, you just loosen the bottom one here, and so now you can move very fast in the X direction on the stage. Moving over here to the on-off mechanism, you've got an on-off on -off switch in the back, and then you've got a uh, rheostat, which is controlled with this knob right here, and if this were plugged in, you'd see all these uh, LEDs light up as you increase the intensity. It's got a preset um, mechanism also so that if you're the only user on the microscope and you like to come in every day and start using your microscope with a preset illumination so you don't have to fuss with what intensity you're going to work at that day, you just push that button and it comes to that intensity every single time you turn the microscope on. Working our way around to the back side, if you're going to equip this microscope with dual viewing, there's an outlet here. All you have to do is plug that plug in here for the uh, uh, dual viewing mechanism and you're ready to go. For changing the bulb it's very simple. You just pull out the pull out the lamp housing and there you have access to the 6 volt 30 watt halogen 5 pin G4 bulb. A couple of really nice things about this Zeiss Axiomat, or I'm sorry, Axiostar, is that this head rotates 360. And so the way this the way this really works and the way it's really advantageous is that say for example you were looking for a inclinable head, which is going to give you a lot of extra height because of people who have different uh, lengths of torsos. And so you, you want to sit down like this but you find that the height is too low for this microscope so then you just turn it around and you've got all this extra increase in height. Another nice thing about this scope is this stage. It's a ceramic stage. It's not a regular metal stage like most stages are. This is a ceramic stage. They cost a lot more because they never wear out. They don't scratch. You don't see uh, gouge marks or tears in it or paint rubbing off. It's ceramic and so it's built to last. This, this stand, this stage right here will last forever. It's basically mar free, scratch free, oil free, uh, chemical resistant. Very nice, very nice stage. Another nice thing about this scope is, are these uh, plant achromatic lenses. These are highly corrected uh, flat field Zeiss CP achromat but they're really plant achromat because they are totally flat. And so uh, what you have are four objective lenses. You have a 5x, 10x, a 40x, and a 100x. And they're all flat field, highly corrected, high resolution, high numerical apertures, and they are infinity corrected as well. Talk about your eyepieces. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's high eye point. Yeah, these eyepieces are Zeiss. 10x, they are PL 18s, high eye point, and they are also highly corrected to match the correction of the of the objective lenses. The right one focuses, so you can maintain par focality between the eyepieces and, and maintain proper visual acuity.